This is the story of how I got a Magma Boss Damage World Record. It all started many moons ago, when XTXD, a fellow guild member of mine, me, and a few other people made a Magma Boss party to find Magma Bosses. At the time, neither XTXD nor I were in the same guild. We didn't even know each other, but we had one goal. We were both well acquainted with the game. We understood the Magma Boss. One and only part of the Magma Boss was a pre-spawn boss. Magma Boss was almost always pre-spawn. The thing about a pre-spawn Magma Boss was that it was very hard to get a three-phase. Since the boss had been sitting around for 10, 15, or even 30 minutes, it went to the middle very quick once you started shooting it. Unless you were in an absolutely goaded party, it was practically impossible to get a full red bar, and because of that, you would have a four-phase boss. This concept would be worth turned to later on. Fast forward a few months later, and XTXT asks in our guild chat, anyone want to do Kudra? The guild requirement was level 300, so surely no one was out, out at the game. I volunteered to join him, and a few seconds later, he responded with, anyone but skewage. While I understood the reason why he had rejected me, I didn't have a G-Drag. I still had over 650 Infernal completions, 3 quarters Fire and Terror with an Infernal Crimson Helmet, over 1300 Magical Power, and 100 crit gems of attack speed. At that moment, I knew I had to prove him wrong, and what better way to do so than to get a high damage magma boss. It was something we were both familiar with, and both knew the difficulty so. My previous magma boss PvP at the time was about 1 billion damage, and I was hoping to get around 1.5 billion, since Future 77, a well-known content creator, had a magma boss PB of 1.45 billion. 1.45 billion damage? Also, yeah, I, I am thinking if you're wondering. Uh, yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a screenshot right there. Holy, that is, um... You may be wondering, how are you going to deal more damage than Future 77? He has 10 10 attributes, full infernal gear, better equipment, and better magical power. Well, let's go back to basics and recall the poor base magma boss. With a full yellow bar, he can do 20% of the magma boss's health. Is 25% and full red 35%. That means if your first bar was orange, you would not be able to do a three phase magma boss since 25% plus 35% plus 35% equals 95%, requiring a fourth phase to kill the boss. I realized that if I got nearly a full red bar in the first phase, I'd still deal about the same damage as all the other phases, except now I would have one extra phase to deal damage in. With this method, as well as an Inferno Terminator, which was mentioned by Future 77 to deal the most damage to the map boss. Uh, yeah, Inferno actually goes kind of crazy, because, like, I don't know what it is, but at least with my setup, it does, like, quite a bit more damage over Fatal Tempo against the Magma boss. So, yeah, that that's that's a thing, I guess. I got a 1.35 billion damage Magma boss. However, I knew I needed to get better. 1.35 is not 1.5. I needed better strategies. First, I got my Ragnarok axe out of my museum. Then, I recalled back to when I was first getting into Infernal Kudras. I'd been insecure about my damage, and I'd looked at all kinds of utility items that could help me. I remember that the one of Strength and the Weird Tube would both give you buffs, but I never used them because only one person in the party needed to since it had an area of effect. Back at present, I have found some random dude, Tomas the Creeper, in my lobby, who also happened to be doing a bit of magma loss. I told him about my goals, and asked him if he would buff me with a wand of strength and weird to go. The Moss Creeper, being the absolute chad he is, agreed to help me out. Only one problem. If I got nearly a red bar, any random person in the lobby could shoot a few times and max the red bar, and there was nothing I could do about it. But was there. As the crowd built up to leech my kills, I kindly asked the onlookers to not hit the Magma Boss in the first phase. I told them that it would be tempting, but they would be able to hit it afterwards. With this bit of an acknowledgement to their temptations, I successfully got them to respect me and hold off. The reason I didn't just switch lobbies was because the onlookers were useful. They gave me legion buffs. With all this added together, and a bit of practice, I hit 1.65 billion damage. My goal was accomplished, but I was not done. My guild was not impressed, and I saw more potential. In my first test, I gathered a mix of friends and random people for legion. However, one of my friends, Spaceman1312, said they thought they could deal more damage to me than Magma Boss since they had a G-Drag and I didn't. I highly doubted him since I was optimized for the Magma Boss, so we agreed to go all out in a 3 phase Magma Boss to see who dealt more damage. I was pretty confident since I was ranked top 50 in Magma Boss kills, so I had quite a lot of experience. My confidence turned out to be based as I ended up dealing almost 1.5 times his damage, finishing with a whopping 1.6 billion damage 3 phase. This, to me, was two wins. 
one, I ended up showing that all my gear upgrades got me somewhere. But two, it proved to me that I could get a 2 million damage four phase if everything was played properly. My first step for maximum damage was armor upgrades. I prestige from Fiery to Infernal Terror, I applied Flawless Jaspers to my terror, and I upgraded from Legion 3 to Legion 5. Next, I upgraded my weapon. I switched the Reforge from Hasty to Precise, and enchanted it with Power 7 and Cubism 6. I also upgraded it from Inferno 4 to Inferno 5. Finally, I upgraded my utilities. I recombined my Ryax, put a Jasper Power Skull on my Sword of Bad Health, and told Tomasa to use a Parapet, which gives 30 strength to all nearby players. Finally, on September 10th, 2023, I got a level 200 g drag. Then, on September 12th, 2023, the admins released the Berserker update, and along with it, they made the Terminator shoot faster while holding right click. With these buffs, I managed to hit 2 billion damage on the Magma boss. But that wasn't it. I could get more. After a couple weeks of dungeoneering, I'd gotten enough coins for 1 billion bank account. With this, I decided I could hit the maximum possible damage on the Magma boss the 32-bit integer limit of 2.147 billion damage. Not only this, but I could believe that I could hit it without external buffs. This means no parapet, no legion, no jerry buffs, no mana drainer, none of it. I also decided to do it in a free phase, since a nearly full red bar is only about 100 million damage. How would I accomplish such a feat, you may ask? Well, I had confidence that a 1 billion coin golden dragon would give me all the damage I needed. However, I also employed Reaper Armor's Enrage ability, which gave 100 damage and 100 strength boost for 6 seconds. Now, let's let past me take it away.
that's the story of how I got a Magma Boss Damage World Record. Since I haven't seen any other submissions, it's a world record by default, but it's also a maximum possible damage, I meaning it can't be beaten, only tied.